Hi, this is Lindsay Oden, Special Research Assistant at the Washington State Attorney General's Office, and this is your AGO Moment in History. In this series, our office will be releasing clips from our Oral History Project, an ongoing effort to collect and preserve the history of the Attorney General's Office as told by the people who have worked here over the years. In this episode, our current Attorney General Bob Ferguson interviews former Attorney General and U.S. Senator Slade Gordon. Senator Gordon served three terms as Attorney General of Washington State from 1969 to 1981. He was later elected to the U.S. Senate, where he served three terms from 1981 to 1987 and from 1989 to 2001. During his time as Attorney General, Senator Gordon argued 14 cases in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. In this clip, Senator Gordon discusses his experiences at the Supreme Court, how he prepared, and what made those cases so memorable for him. Let's have a listen. If you're gonna have a top two or three highlights, right? I'd be kind of curious when you look back on on uh, on the highlights of your time as Attorney General. It's a particular case or something else. Obviously, there's Major League Baseball in Seattle. It's hard to get bigger than that. But... There was Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. There were the 14 cases in the U.S. Supreme mm -hmm. Court. Uh, there was, I think, I can't remember his name. I think it was Williams, uh, the really fragile you know, automobile dealer, whom we came up from the California and we at least drove back to California. We drove that drove them out of business here. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of the major antitrust cases that brought in uh, you know, judgments in, 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 in the millions uh, you know, fell, into that, uh, fell into that category as mm -hmm. well. Right, interesting. So, uh, uh, and this is a question I have that's uh, perhaps an unfair question for any attorney general, but uh, of all the work that you did, the divisions you worked with, did you have a, for lack of a better word, a favorite division, a favorite part of the operations office that you just especially were engaged in, interested in, that really uh, captured your? Uh, I'll have to answer a somewhat different question. That, that's fine. Feel free to feel free to amend it. Yeah, my favorite part of the office was those fourteen cases in the Supreme Court Interesting. that I took, and they came, of course, from probably Interesting. six or seven, you know, you know different divisions. Yep. Of uh, course, but <laughs> that. It was quite a practice of law because my own practice of law was limited to the Supreme Court of right. the United States. Right. But it was it was the practice of law, and it was to a certain extent scholarly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, uh, probably the lawyers I felt closest to were those who I had prepare me for those Supreme Court mm -hmm. arguments. Mm -hmm. We would do our own little mini uh, um, uh, boot courts. Uh, We'd usually go back to Washington D.C. Oh, four or five days in advance, or if it was a Monday argument, you know, you know, the weekend before. And I have a tactile memory. Mm -hmm. uh, I would write out, you know, my argument, and then have these three or four assistants really go after me. And they had to, you know, they had to go after the boss. And then I'd kick them out of the room and rewrite it and do the same thing over and over again. And it was a it was a marvelous way of uh, preparing. So. The, the lawyers in the office to whom I was inevitably the closest mm -hmm. were the six or eight senior lawyers who were in our attorney general's office that was in the Supreme Court building. Uh, probably when that building was finished in the early uh, 20th century, all the assistant attorney generals uh, were in it. But unlike your situation now, the lawyers were scattered around in their various uh, agencies so <clears throat> and only came over to the Temple of Justice uh, when, they were, when they were called to do so. Right. But the deputies were all there, okay. uh, the administrative assistant, and a couple of others, uh, you know, very senior ones. And those were the people, without right. the slightest question, I got to know best. Right. Plus the ones who either played softball or basketball. Sure, sure. <laughs> now one thing, you mentioned the Supreme Court arguments, and uh, uh, I seem to recall, tell me if I've got this right, it was, uh, uh, you may not recall this, but we had a conversation where at some function, this is before I became Attorney General, even running for Attorney General, it might have been the first time we actually met, and I'd known you'd had many arguments for the U.S. Supreme Court, and I seem to recall, I hope I got this right, that at one of your arguments, one of the justices said to another justice or to a law clerk that your argument was especially good, maybe even the finest that this justice had ever heard. Have I got any part of that right at all, or uh, is that ringing a bell? Well, you're in the right church with the wrong pew, maybe. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair like enough. Uh, 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 Chief Justice Berger, mm -hmm. uh, 
I, I actually have something in writing of it that's not an email. Yes, yeah, so this is too early. Yes, this is what I remember. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is the story. So made, what was that made story? Made the statement that I made the best arguments of any state attorney general. I'm not too far off then. Attorney. Okay, that's a that's a pretty uh, big compliment, uh, Senator. Then Gordon. much later, you know, I'm in K and L Gates now. Yeah, it was Preston Gates. It was a local firm mm -hmm. that merged with Kirkpatrick and Lockhart in Pittsburgh, uh, and the genius in that firm, the, you know, the man behind the fact that KNL is one of the biggest law firms in the world now, mm -hmm. uh, was a clerk of Justice Wizard White right. when I made my last argument before okay. the Supreme Court. And when he came out here during the time of the merger, he told me that Justice White said after that argument, guys, he said, he said, he said that even though one of them was a woman, mm -hmm. uh, guys, he said, you will never hear a better argument than you one you just heard from uh, uh, the Attorney General of Washington, and I have that in right. Yeah, that's right. So that, that was that. That is the story that you told me, and uh, it made an impression on me. That that's a high compliment, and uh, um, and uh, so. And sorry, yeah. Justice White was my favorite justice. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he never asked an irrelevant question. He was always at the heart of whatever the case was. He wasn't necessarily the easiest, right? Yeah, you know, by any means, but. Uh, he was, he was very, very good. Got it. Yep. Thanks for listening to this AGO Moment in History. Be sure to like and subscribe to receive updates when we upload a new episode. On our next episode, Senator Gordon discusses his time in the U.S. Senate. Thanks, and talk to you again soon.